Remember that captivating show set amidst the stunning vineyards of California's wine country? Falcon Crest, with its blend of family drama and corporate intrigue, kept audiences hooked for years. With a roster of diverse characters, each with their own motives and secrets, it's hard not to have a favorite. Which character drew you in the most? Maybe you're a longtime fan, reminiscing about watching the show with family on cozy evenings. Share your cherished memories of Falcon Crest with us in the comments below. Your stories add color to the rich tapestry of this beloved series. Set in the scenic Tuscany Valley, Falcon Crest, a beloved 80s television drama, revolved around the power struggles within the affluent Geoberty and Channing families, both vying for control over the Falcon Crest winery empire. Premiering in 1981, the show intertwined elements of romance, betrayal, and ambition against the backdrop of the California wine industry. Central to the narrative were the larger-than-life characters, including the fierce and cunning matriarch Angela Channing, portrayed brilliantly by Jane Wyman, and the resilient Maggie Gilberty, played by Susan Sullivan. The series captivated audiences with its intricate familial dynamics, intricate plot lines, and the ceaseless battle for dominance and legacy. Its unique blend of soap opera drama and business intrigue distinguished it, earning a dedicated following and contributing to the cultural lexicon. Falcon Crest's impact on popular culture lay in its portrayal of high-stakes familial conflicts and its lasting impression as an emblematic 80s television drama, leaving an indelible mark on the era's entertainment landscape. The character of Dan Fix was originally named Ben Quick, but Brett Cullen hated the name so much he asked to change it. The show, known for its familial power struggles, had its own share of behind-the-scenes dynamics. Actor Brett Cullen's dislike for the character's name, Ben Quick, led to a change to Dan Fix. This alteration sheds light on the nuanced decisions shaping characters and their identities, often unseen by audiences. Such shifts in names underscore the collaborative process behind crafting a character, showcasing the actor's influence in defining their roles. The role of Lorraine Prescott in the TV series was initially offered to Ally Sheedy. However, the character eventually went to Dana Sparks. This change in casting sheds light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and decisions that shape a show's direction. Ally Sheedy's potential involvement could have altered the character's portrayal, showcasing the intricacies of casting choices in the development of a series. The negotiation and selection process for roles often involve multiple actors and considerations impacting the final product that audiences see on screen. Such casting decisions not only affect individual characters, but also contribute to the overall chemistry and dynamics within the show's narrative. William R. Moses, initially considered for Lance Cumpson, landed the role of Cole Gioberti instead. This casting decision altered character dynamics significantly. Moses' portrayal of Cole Gioberti contributed a unique perspective to the show, reshaping the familial interplay. His transition from a considered role to another character highlighted the intricate casting process behind the scenes, showcasing the ripple effects of such decisions on the series' narrative arc. The actors' placements within the ensemble cast were crucial in shaping the relationships and storylines, adding layers to the show's fabric. Long before the show kicked off, Jane Wyman had a long-standing connection with Lorenzo Lamas. They weren't just co-stars Wyman had known Lamas since he was a baby. Their families were close, linked through friendships that spanned generations. Lorenzo Lamas, son of actors Fernando Lamas and Arlene Dahl, had a familial tie with Wyman that predated their work together on a series titled Fireside Theater. Their bond, grounded in this shared history, added an intriguing layer to their on-screen dynamics. This connection, stemming from a time before the show's conception, brought a unique depth to their interactions. It wasn't just about portraying characters, it was a convergence of personal history influencing their on-set chemistry. This behind-the-scenes tie sheds light on the intricate network of relationships that often go unseen by audiences. It speaks volumes about the intricate fabric weaving the actors' lives with the roles they portray. Their shared history off-screen inevitably seeped into the on-screen narrative, lending an authentic layer to the interactions audiences witnessed. The show, a testament to familial drama and power struggles, gained an added dimension with the intertwined histories of its actors. It's a reminder that the on-screen story is often complemented by the untold tales behind the camera, shaping performances and relationships within the narrative. A 
Among the intriguing backstage tidbits of the 81 TV series is the presence of familiar faces from Jane Wyman's circle. Cesar Romero, Eve Arden, Eddie Albert, Ann Jeffries, Rod Taylor, and K.O. Lai Kai. This ensemble cast featured connections that extended beyond the set. Notably, many friends of Wyman appeared on the show, lending a familial feel to the on-screen dynamics. This unique interweaving of personal and professional relationships added an extra layer of depth to the series, showcasing a network of familiar faces within the cast. Their presence offered a nuanced insight into the show's environment, complementing the intricate familial drama portrayed on screen. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of the entertainment industry during that era, illustrating the merging of personal and professional spheres. The show had a twist planned for a character, a shift from a pleasant demeanor to a dark, unsettling persona, scrapped but later repurposed. They shelved the idea and recycled it for Jeff Wainwright in a subsequent season. It's a reminder of the evolving narratives behind the scenes. The initial concept reflected a different direction, but the eventual utilization of the idea showcased its persistence in shaping character arcs over time. This intriguing plot diversion sheds light on the malleability of storylines within the series, highlighting the creative process that ultimately defines character development and plot trajectories. The fourth season of the show began with a typical recap of the previous episode, followed by a sneak preview of the upcoming one. It was a regular practice to jog viewers' memories before diving into the new storyline. This approach aimed to keep audiences engaged and informed about ongoing plot developments. The brief revisits and previews served as a bridge between episodes, ensuring continuity and anticipation for what lay ahead in the narrative. This technique was a common method used in many TV series during that era, offering a structured and cohesive viewing experience. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the captivating world of a certain vintage TV series, let's take a moment to cherish the memories and ponder the impact it left on our lives. Falcon Crest, with its intricate plots and charismatic characters, weaves a tapestry of emotions and connections transcending time. Whether it's the melodramatic twists, the breathtaking scenery, or the enchanting personas, there's a piece of Falcon Crest that resonates within each of us. It's in those moments of shared laughter, gasps of surprise, or even the occasional tear that the series etched itself into our hearts. Your experience with Falcon Crest is unique, a mosaic of nostalgia, fondness, and perhaps a hint of intrigue. So, I invite you to share your treasured memories, the scenes that linger in your mind, or the characters who felt like old friends. Let's celebrate this extraordinary journey by reliving the magic through your eyes. Your stories, reflections, and personal connections make this adventure all the more meaningful. Thank you for joining in this ode to Falcon Crest. Your time and passion are truly appreciated.